back to the Flourishing Home vlog. My name is Amanda and today we are going to be making a very exciting beverage that is the Starbucks Shaken Iced Espressos. I have been recently obsessed with the chocolate shaken almond milk espresso and I always order with oat milk instead. I think it's super good and I've been really wanting to figure out how to make it at home. So today we're gonna to figure out how to make the chocolate one and also the brown sugar cinnamon shaken espresso. All right, it is 12.32 in the afternoon and I have not had any coffee yet, so let's get going. Once again, Margaret has joined the party. She is seven weeks old and she's been going through a bit of a rough time the last couple days, so she's just gonna hang out in the carrier and hopefully take a nap while I make this first recipe. So for the first chocolate almond milk shake and espresso, uh, based on the ingredients on Starbucks website, you'll need malt powder, cocoa, and cane sugar. That's really it. And of course espresso. And then, like I said, I usually do oat milk instead of almond milk, so I'm just gonna be using oat milk as my topper. I do have an espresso machine. I understand not everyone has one. So my suggestion would be to use a mocha pot if you don't have an espresso machine. This is gonna be somewhere between espresso and drip coffee, but I think the results can be similar. So I'd be curious to hear how that goes if you choose to go that route. So we are gonna start by mixing these in our shaker and then I'll pull my shots and that way we can shake everything up together. When I taste test this a different day, I followed the three tablespoons of malt powder, which seemed like a lot, but when I only did two tablespoons, it was not enough. So it's gonna look like a ton of powder, but you really wanna get that malty flavor, which is the whole reason I like the chocolate um, almond milk espresso anyway, is because it's super malty. So I feel like you have to do a lot of malt powder to actually get the flavor. So we're gonna do full three tablespoons of this. We're gonna do one tablespoon of cocoa powder, and I decided on two teaspoons of cane sugar. And it's all gonna go into our shaker. So let's start with that. So I just wanna quickly say a note about using a shaker. I mean, it is in the name of the beverage. You can just do it over ice. It won't taste exactly the same. Similar to when you make a cocktail in the shaker, shaking it actually changes the texture and it emulsifies it and aerates it. So you do want to shake it up in some way. If you don't have a cocktail shaker, you can just use a mason jar with a lid, something to really like get the aeration going. It does change the flavor and the texture. So we definitely wanna to try to incorporate shaking in some manner into this espresso beverage. I couldn't find chocolate malt powder at my grocery store. I would be really curious to see how good this would taste with Ovaltine malted chocolate milk. I think that would be the best. So if I can find any, I'm going to try that as well and insert the clip after this one. But for now, I'm just using carnation malted milk. So as you can see, it's a lot of powder, but we're just gonna add our espresso to that and a little bit of ice and then shake it up. over a rocks glass. I'm gonna add some more ice. This is the oat milk I'm using. It's the extra creamy silk brand. version of the chocolate almond milk shake and espresso from Starbucks. Like I said, it has the malt powder, the sugar, cocoa, and I did oat milk instead of almond milk because I just prefer oat milk. So let me give it a taste. You can taste the malt. It's kind of an aftertaste. It's definitely not as malty forward as the Starbucks one is. Like I said, I would definitely be interested in trying, trying the Ovaltine chocolate malt mix. I think the chocolate already being pre-mixed into the malt might make it taste a lot better. So 
Sorry for the slurping sound. <laughs> I definitely enjoy it. It's very rich and creamy. You can taste the espresso. I use blonde espresso from Starbucks just to be as accurate as possible. Obviously, I like it. I keep taking sips of it, but I'm a huge chocolate fan. When I get this one from Starbucks, I think it tastes like adult chocolate milk with the espresso in it. So this is definitely a good alternative. It's not exact, so I guess you just have to keep going to Starbucks if you really want that exact malty chocolate flavor, but it's very close and I'm definitely happy with it and I would continue to drink this at home for sure. So let's try the brown sugar cinnamon almond milk shaken espresso. Brown sugar cinnamon oat milk shaken espresso. Let's do that one next. For that one, we have to make our own syrup, so that's gonna be fun. Let's do it. It's time for a midday moment with Margaret. Miss Margaret, how are you feeling today, huh? Oh, sun's out, tongue's out. I see how it is. Okay, so some time has passed. Miss Margaret graciously let me put her down to try to take a nap, so we'll see how long that lasts. I wanna get started on the brown sugar cinnamon syrup. I am just gonna use pre-made brown sugar. I'm not gonna try to make my own. And I was thinking instead of using ground cinnamon, I'm just gonna boil the cinnamon sticks into the syrup. That way you don't have any of the granny, granny, <laughs> granny? <laughs> That way you don't have any of the grainy texture. I don't really love the grainy texture of cinnamon. I don't think it blends in very well. So I'm hoping if I boil the cinnamon sticks, the flavor will actually go into the syrup. Then I can strain it if any of these pieces get stuck in there. If it doesn't taste super cinnamony, I will just add ground cinnamon, but I really wanna try this first. So let's get started with our syrup. It's just gonna be a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar and water. And I might actually increase the amount of sugar and do less water so that it's even more syrupy and kind of thick. We're gonna kind of play around with it, but I'm gonna start by boiling the cinnamon sticks in the water first and then adding in the sugar. Okay, the cinnamon stick idea has worked really well so far. It smells just like a Christmas store in here. You know what I mean. <laughs> All the uh, cinnamon totally infused into the water. So I'm going to pull out the sticks and then I'm gonna add the brown sugar, stir it to dissolve and then let it sit and our syrup will be done. Then we have to strain it and put it into a bottle and then we'll taste it. Bring it back to a boil and then kill the heat and just let it dissolve. Oh, that's a lot of brown sugar. I'm doing a full cup and then it is one cup of water. But I think some of the water uh, cooked off in the first step. Sorry, it's getting so dark. It's getting really cloudy outside, but I'm just waiting for the syrup to cool down a little bit so I can strain it and put it into the glass jar. <laughs> Maggie obviously did not want to go to sleep, so here we are. But I just took a spoonful of it to taste, and guys, this is really good. I can really taste the cinnamon. It, like I said, smells like a Christmas store in here in the best way, or like, it smells like red hot candies, but the cinnamon flavor definitely comes through, and the brown sugar is really sweet, but not overly sweet, so I'm excited to see how this this other drink tastes. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a lot closer to the Starbucks version than the chocolate malt one was. It's really important to strain and definitely use a funnel. Here's our finished product, the brown sugar cinnamon syrup. It is a beautiful color. It tastes delicious, I already tasted it. So now we can get started on building our final beverage and taste test. have my shaker with some ice. I'm gonna add my shots. And I'm gonna do one ounce of the brown sugar cinnamon syrup. I'm using a jigger. All the products that I have for all the cocktail stuff, I will link in the description below. If you're interested, this stuff is really nice. All right, one ounce going in. 
Pop my top on. I can never get this off. One moment, please. All right, look at that foam. That's what I'm talking about with the aeration. You really gotta shake it up really well. We have our glass. Strain it. Okay, I changed my mind about straining. It doesn't really do what I thought it did. I actually really prefer this foam. That's kind of what we're looking for. So forget the straining, just pour it straight in. So that's that after you shake it, all aerated. And now we're gonna top it with our almond milk. Sorry, oat milk. Top it with your oat milk. That looks so good. Wow, that looks delicious. Okay. Almost got a stash. Oh my goodness. First of all, the bubbles at the top are delightful. I'm gonna give this a stir, one moment. I love the foam at the top. I think I messed up the first one by straining it. So I'm not gonna do that next time. Okay, here's it all stirred. Oh my gosh, I love this syrup. It's so good. Okay, I really like this one too. It's a lot less creamy than the other one. I think the malt powder in the chocolate one really added a lot of velvety smoothness. This one is just a very espresso forward beverage. I love the way the blonde espresso pairs with the cinnamon brown sugar syrup. I think the brown sugar really complements the blonde espresso. They're both extremely good in their own right. They're super different, but I love the foam on this one. I need to try the chocolate one again and make sure I leave the foam on top. And I am gonna definitely look for the Ovaltine chocolate malt powder and see if I can try that one again. So if I do, I will let you guys know. But so far, I think this one wins. I think I'll have to make this at home and then go to Starbucks for the, the chocolate version because this is very delicious. Mm -hmm. It has been a couple days. I was able to track down some rich chocolate Ovaltine from my local Target. And I'm very happy because if you couldn't tell, I wasn't really thrilled with how the other um, recipe turned out. So I'm really excited to try this, as I said. So I'm just gonna make it exactly the same as the other two recipes. I'm gonna shake it up with my espresso and get back to you. I also procured a <laughs> test beverage. This is, of course, the original drink from Starbucks. I had to get it just to see what it tasted like again to remind myself and I'm gonna taste test them side by side. So let me quickly whip up that drink and then we will taste and see which is the better option. Okay, it's the moment of truth. We are trying the rich chocolate Ovaltine malted powder with our shaken espresso to see if it tastes a bit closer to the Starbucks version or if it just tastes good in general. It doesn't have to be perfectly like the Starbucks version. All right, how does the color compare to the Starbucks version? It's pretty close. First thoughts, I can't really taste the malt. I cannot taste the malt powder as much as the Starbucks version. So I did two tablespoons, which is what the uh, Ovaltine container recommended for 12, or I'm sorry, eight ounces of milk. This is a 12 ounce glass. I want it to be as close to the Starbucks tall, which is 12 ounces as possible. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of the powder. It's better. Let me taste this one, the Starbucks one. No, just no. Okay, I want to like these, my at home versions of the chocolate shaken almond milk espressos but they just don't taste like the Starbucks version. I'm sad, but it's not a total fail. The uh, brown sugar cinnamon syrup was extremely good and that drink tasted fantastic. This tastes good also, don't get me wrong. These taste good. They just don't taste exactly like the Starbucks version. I'm just gonna take the L on that one and I'm totally fine with it. It was a really fun experiment and really fun trying to um, mimic the flavors of the Starbucks version. 
I like the other one. I'll continue to drink it at home and use the powder and find other uses for the malt powder as well in other recipes. But um, let me know if you guys find anything that works better for the chocolate almond milk version. I would love to hear your thoughts on this and just any experimentation that you do for yourself. All right, guys, I'm just gonna drink my espressos and have a good afternoon. <laughs> The Bucks has got me. Dang. I'm a sucker for the siren. What can I say? All right. I would love to know what is your favorite Starbucks order or what's your favorite coffee drink to have at home? I'd love to get the conversation started in the comments down below. But if you like this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. And as always, thank you so much for your support and for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Maggie, do you want to add anything to the video? Oh, cool. Thank you for sharing. Say, so I'll see you next time.